Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna do my natural glam look. I love glam and honestly, I think I wear it a bit too much. And if you don't know, I do film TikToks on literally makeup. It's only makeup, but I feel like as much as I love filming TikToks, I can't go into the same amount of depth as I would be able to on YouTube. So this is gonna be my full glam look on YouTube. Before we start applying any makeup to our face, we have to start with skin prep, which is arguably the most important thing. I'm using this Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream just to set my skin up and it gives such a flawless base for when you have to start applying your makeup. Honestly, I couldn't recommend it enough. Okay, next we're going in with the Charlotte Tilbury's Cryo Recovery Eye Serum. It is amazing for someone with dry under eyes or even eyelids. It's perfect and it makes you look more lively with the caffeine infused product. Okay, now we're going to go in with the Laneige Sleeping Mask and we're going to let this all soak into our skin and then we can start applying our makeup. Okay, once it's all settled in, we're going to use the e.l.f. Blemish Control Face Primer. It just helps minimize those pores and any blemishes on your face. And then I'm going to go in with the Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. This is a staple product in any kind of glam look I do. It just it gives your skin such a nice kind of healthy glow, which is so important for glam. Okay, on a palette, I'm just mixing my NARS Light Reflecting Foundation with some glowing primer. Any glowing primer will do. I use Millie Macintosh and I'm just going to apply it straight to the face with a brush. To make sure I've got that smooth, glowy, glam look, I'm just taking a damp beauty blender and just patting it all over my face. For a super soft glam look, I tend to do a three layer contour. So as you can see here, I'm taking a she glam contour in a bit more of a lighter shade, cool toned as well. And I start to map out the areas of contour on my face and I'll blend it out with a my face brush, which I used for my foundation. I just kind of start to stifle it into the face and it just kind of helps blend the product together. Then for the next layer of contour, I'm taking a bit more of a darker shade where you'll start to see the features start to become defined a bit more. And then for my last layer, I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Amber, which obviously has a bit more of a cool tone and I just use it on my nose. And to get a more cohesive look, I'm taking that damn beauty blender we used earlier on just all over my face. These looks are all about dimension. So here I'm taking the She Glam blush in a bit more of a darker shade and then taking a Made by Mitchell blush in a bit more of a brighter hot pink shade and using a dense fluffy brush just to stifle it into the cheeks. For concealer, I'm taking a similar skin tone concealer and just blending it in after a couple of minutes and it just kind of cancels out any darkness on my face. So I tend to use it on my upper lip and my eye bags. Then I'm taking a lighter concealer, also NARS, and just highlighting points of my face. So this is typically my under eyes, my chin, my nose, and my forehead. A super important tip is before you blend your concealer straight away, make sure your concealer dries down first so you get that coverage and it just reduces creasing in general. I'm taking one of my favorite powders ever. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I'm just using the powder puff to pat it all over my face and then I'm folding the powder puff in half just to get into those little crevices on my face. Okay, for bronzer, I'm taking the Fenty Beauty bronzer. I love this bronzer. When I first got it, I honestly did not know how to use it, but now I'm always using it and maybe some may say I'm over applying and I love using it on my nose and just bringing it into the crease of my eyelid, just ready for eyeshadow. Next, I'm using the Dior blush in the shade 01 and I love this blush. It's perfect for this look. And if you see it, buy it. It is one of the best products I can recommend. Again, I'm taking one of my favorite highlighters. It's gonna make another appearance in the video and just highlighting the tip of my nose and my cheeks. 
Here I'm taking one of my favorite palettes for neutrals. This is the Morphe Truth of Bear. The pigment is amazing and I just love the shadows in here. Unfortunately, they don't have any names for the shadows. So obviously I'm just showing you which colors I'm using and I'm just patting it into my crease and blending them into my nose as well to create a seamless look. For eyeliner, I'm just taking the darkest shade of brown in the palette and mapping out where I want the eyeliner to be with an angled brush. With that stencil we just created with the eyeshadow, I'm taking the Rimmel London Scandal Eyes Liquid Eyeliner and just mapping out and blending out with an angled brush again. For mascara, I'm taking the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara and it's just one of my favourites. I love this and I couldn't recommend it enough. As a girl with already thick brows, I just took the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil and then went in with the e.l.f. Wow Brow afterwards just to give it a bit more of a fuller look. But honestly, I didn't need to do much for my brows. You can't have my phone number unless we running up the digits. Let me meditate. I just need a couple. Simply because this is just soft glam, I didn't want to do a full set of lashes. So I've taken these manga lashes just off Amazon and I'm snipping them into small bits and just placing them onto my lashes. I feel like lips pulls the whole look together. So here I'm taking the Elf Love Triangle Lip Filler Line in the shade Light Brown and just carving out my lips. And then for my lipstick, I'm taking the ColourPop Cosmetics Lippy Sticks in the shade Cookie for a bit of a matte look. And then just to gloss it off, I'm using the Maybelline Lifter Gloss and it's one of my favorite glosses. I love my gloss, but this gloss is from a drugstore. It's cheap and it's affordable. I love it. I really hope this tutorial helped you guys for your soft glam look and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.